Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to build a simple to-do application from scratch using Blazor and Firebase. Here is a demo of the web application. We will first install all the prerequisites. Then we will start creating the Blazor project. We will see how to set up Firebase project. Finally, we will check how to integrate Firebase with the Blazor project. Let's install Visual Studio which we will be using to develop the app which is needed for this project. We will be installing the community version which is free for learning purposes. Let us run the installer file. Let me choose ASP.NET and .NET Desktop Development. Let me put a shortcut in the desktop. We can skip the sign in and choose a theme. Visual Studio is now ready to be used. Let's set up the Firebase project. Go to Firebase console. Give a name to our project. Let's create it. Now let's set up a database for our application. Let's create collection. Let's call it as notes. Let's add a couple of documents to our notes collection. We can use auto-generated ID for our document. Let us now create the Blazor project. Let's simply run the project and check how it looks. We see a default template. Let's add another menu in navigation bar for our to-do app.
Let's create a new component. Use the page attribute for routing. Now let's add it in navigation menu. Let's check if this works. Our Blazor project is now ready. Let us now integrate the Firebase with our Blazor project. Let's first go to Firebase console. Now let's add an app to our project. Click on Web. Give a name to the app. Go back to console and go to app settings. Click on service accounts and generate NA private key to download the credentials file. We will be using this file to set environment key in the Blazor project. We need to now install a NuGet package to work with Firebase from our Blazor app. Let's install it. Firebase is now ready to be used with our Blazor project. Let us now add the HTML and methods required for our to-do app. Let me first import the Google Firestore module. Next, we need to create an instance of Firestore DB.
We need to pass the project ID as parameter. Next, let us declare a class for the notes data. It contain two fields, ID and description. Next, let us declare the notes array to populate and use it in the HTML. Next, let us write the method to get notes data from Firestore. First, we need to create the collection reference object. Next, to create the query snapshot from the collection. Next, let us create a local variable to store the notes data. We need to loop through and get documents from our collection. Finally, we need to assign the list data to global notes variable. We need to call the refresh method on page load. So we can override the uninitialized method and call the refresh method here. Next, let's us write the HTML to display the notes data. We just need to loop through the notes data and add HTML to display each notes. Let us now check if this works. It looks like we have an issue with setting the environment variable. Looks like we have additional space in environment variable name. Let's remove it. We see that we are able to display notes data. Next, let us write methods to add and delete a document. First, let us write method to add new document. We need to create a variable to store new notes data to be added. We can make use of add async method to add the new notes data. After adding the new notes, we need to refresh the notes data. Similarly, let's implement the delete notes method. We need to pass the ID of the document to be deleted.
First, let's create the document reference based on the document ID. We can make use of delete async method to delete the document. Now let us add the text box to accept new notes. And also a button to call the add notes method. Let us also add the button to delete a document. We need to pass the ID to delete the document. Let's now check if everything works. Let's add a new notes. We see that it was added successfully. Now let's try to delete this document. We see that adding and delete of notes works as expected.